Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for the sign of Virgo and this is a bonus reading. Alright, so the reason as to why is because if a supporter of mine on Ko-Fi has donated a lot to get this deck that we are going to be using. Alright, big shout out to Trent and Tracy for that. Alright, long time supporter, appreciate you. Okay, so go ahead and check my Ko-Fi, see the next deck that you could at Trenton, I'm not saying for you to do that, but for you guys to support and contribute, I guess, for the next day, if you wanted to. Now, before we get into your reading, you'll see the personal reading, a bunch of things there in the description, but in the comments you'll find like a full moon intention wishing spell, okay? And if you donate to that, you can get a free mystery random gift, which can either be a stone, a pin, a shirt, and so on. Alright, be completely random what you get here, but while you're donating to that, set your intention on what is it you want besides the gift. Alright, whether that be a home, money, vehicle, whatever. Alright? So, right, that's out of the way. Let's see what is it for you, Virgo. What's happening for you? Cards falling out. We have a bunch of fours and five. So maybe seeing the number four a lot, but we have the four of swords. We have the four of cups. We have the four of wands. We have the Five of Wands. Alright Virgo, so I think you're kind of taking a break because it feels like you're kind of bored of the drama or the chaos going on here. Five of Wands is a card of drama. Four of Cups is a card of kind of being bored or discontent with the situation here. Or Swords, it's like you're kind of like... I feel like you're kind of reflecting on the situation in a way, but you're still kind of getting tired of it. Now, Four of Wands... I mean, we see the bonfire, we see the sticks, we see the homes. So that can be a, a place of like peace and stability and a home. Okay? So let's see more about the cards. So we continue shuffling for the sign of Virgo. Let's see what we have. We have the King of Pentacles, which is going to be your own card here, Virgo. Whether you're male or female, it does not really matter. Okay, we have the King of Swords, which is air. All right, to be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you have a placement somewhere in your chart. We have the Prince of Swords. Okay, and we have the Lord. All right, so we have the Lord here. We have the Lord can represent fatherhood, can represent the Lord like some deities and gods and things like that. You have a lightning bolt on the staff, which kind of reminds me of like Zeus and things like that. The Lord is usually in this deck kind of like meant to represent figures like Arthur, um, the nature god of like Theranos and things like that. All right. But it feels like you're kind of, I think you're thinking about the situation here at Virgo and I think you're I think you're cutting people off with King of Swords. I think you're very much in your mind with King of Swords here. But I don't really see that being in a bad way. And I see you kind of like... I see you being in a spot of more home. You know what I'm saying? Like more stability and like comfort. Alright, but I do, I do kind of see you cutting people off. So it feels like you're getting kind of tired of it. We do have, like, God here speaking to you as well. We have the tower. Alright, so we have a tower coming down. We have the Princess of Pentacles. So we have a Lord and then we have a Princess. We have the Three of Cups. We 
You have a star. Alright. Star can be Aquarius, and you're kind of pulling some similar cards to Aquarius, so that tells me that you can have Aquarius placements, or maybe you have an Aquarius friend or lover or whatever. If you're meeting an Aquarius. There. You have the Princess of Swords. We have two princesses here. Alright, princesses are usually like young girls or women, but it can be like children, female children. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords, so there is heavy air here. Alright. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which once again is going to be your own card. And the Queen of Pentacles is very connected to the earth, alright? It's connected to the land, the nature, things like that. Alright, we have the Strength. We have the Boar instead of the Lion. Okay? So, it feels like we have someone here who's very much in their power. Okay? Kind of in the Queen of Swords mode. I feel like thinking about the Pentacles a lot here. You're having some sort of union with them there. Three of Cups. Right? And we also have a tower being knocked down. I feel like there's maybe... Whatever blockages were between you and them is being knocked down. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Princess of Cups. Once again, we have another Princess here. Okay, this Princess is more sensitive than the other ones. We have the Eight of Swords. We have Death, right? Which we have like a crone-like figure. We have Justice. Alright, so we have justice being taken place here. Justice can be that deeper as well. We have the hangman. We have someone here putting, being put in the hangman position, being put in a stuck position. Okay? And that is justice in the way. Okay? And the five of cups. So we have someone here looking at the lake while the cups are being spilled over. We have a chariot, which would be that of cancer. Okay? So, you know, some of him is quite young and sensitive, or young and sensitive active, or kind of feminine, right? With Princess of Cups being there. I feel like you're very focused on your work or your craft, the Eight of Pentacles. But we also have someone here being put in a hungman position, and that's Justice. Okay, and then we have like a I want to look at that death card because that feels like there, there's something there. I just got this deck and I want to know more about it. So I want to look at the death card. Yeah, see, it could be Kalich in her crone aspect. Seraphim as Calvich. Alright, so one of those goddesses here with me. Okay. They're like helping you let go and helping you transform. Seraphim as Chrome is a dark woman of knowledge. being initiated here, Virgo, into knowledge. And this is also justice in a way. This is this, you have this goddess here reaching out to you. Death card, chariot, princess of cards. This is of cards. We have a lady. Alright, the lady. We have a lady and the Lord. So we have a lady, which represents Mother Earth, which can be like that of Guy. The lady's more of the feminine, the more motherhood aspect. 
or it could be that of abundance, of love, things like that. We have the Six of Swords. Alright, so we have two people moving forward in a boat. Okay. Make some changes. We have a Knight of Cups. Okay. So maybe some people making some offers towards you. Maybe cool. Right, maybe you're kind of just jumping into it really excitedly here with the fool. Maybe you're moving. Maybe there's like a. Maybe there's going to be someone who makes an offer towards you to move somewhere or to like move forward with you. Maybe you jump into it there. At the Queen of Cups, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We have the Prince of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we have a bunch of people working together here, creating some sort of uh, stone thing, which is symbols. We have a Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, we have someone here who wants stability with you, Virgo. And I feel like you're kind of just moving. You're like, I, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like you end up jumping into it. The Fool card being there. Okay. Yeah, so. Let's get some rounds and trust yourself. have number 11. Alright, the number 11 can have more significance to, to one, so that could be like new beginnings. Alright, we have the sun beetle, which you're connected to. So connect with the sun, uh, Virgo. You know, the sun is like healing, it's like vibrancy, it's like energy. We have Horus. We have Aries. So you have those placements or one around you, and you have Sun God Ra. We have Bastet. This Aztec Serpent God, which you're connecting to. We have this Rose. Now we were talking about Gaia and Mother Earth and things like that. Virgo. We have you emerging into more strength. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below. A personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop where I go buy something. They really appreciate that. Also go check out my Ko-Fi, um, that full moon wishing thing. And also once again, another sh one more shout out to Trent and Tracy. You've always been a good supporter. They really appreciate you. And if you want to see more content, definitely like subscribe. Bye guys.